Hello viewers, we are gonna play some more, uh, I mean some, we're gonna play some Stalker Color Pripyat. Uh, this was requested by Kastala. And, um, yeah, I mean, Stalker Shadow Chernobyl was requested. And I, th I want to really play the whole series because it's a really good game. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing uh, Color Pripyat. I've already played a few hours of Pripyat, so I kind of know what to do, which, I last time I played Call of Pripyat that time it was about a uh, few months ago so my memory might be a little shit uh, this video is experimental since I do not know the sounds volume of the game if you guys didn't hear it or not uh, but I'll be fixing it as we go along through the videos all right, stalker. Stop. We're gonna play in stalker mode. I do plan. I do plan on replaying the whole stalker series again, and doing videos on it. But it's gonna be like on the hardest difficulty, which will be pretty fun. They also give tips, which is uh pretty nice, very useful and helpful. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking hyped, man. Let's fucking do this. I am not as scared of bloodsuckers anymore like I used to be. Usually, uh, so I can I can take them. At zero one twenty three on April twenty six, nineteen eighty six, the reactor of Power Block Four of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy. The survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roamed the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and three hundred unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012. Hey, Straylock. Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of a wish granter. Damn. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Oh, well, fuck. 
Major Dick Tyrant, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopter. All right, so I guess you're playing as that guy then. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ. The Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. Two weeks of supplies, huh? Oh, geez. All right, we just start off like that? Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good amount of bullets. Uh, geez, it's been a while. Fuck. Y you call that two weeks of supplies? Come on, man. That that's not even two weeks. Jeez, this would only last for like... Like a day or two. Two at the most. I mean, fuck. So I have everything on the highest quality. So there's lag spikes. I apologize. I will, oh, jeez. Oh, there was already a lag there. Alright. So let's see. Look at the map. So these are where artifacts can be, most likely. Uh, others are just uh, places to go to. There's a lot of do in this game, honestly. Let's keep going. See what these guys Come need. On, man. Put that weapon away. A lot more English, by the way. Put that shooter away, and then we'll talk. Oh shit! Yeah, hi. Uh, where's the nearest stalker camp around here? I will upload the coordinates here. PDA Skill Skadovisk is the only major camp around here. Uh, I would like to ask you something. Know anyone who has a job for me? If you're good at stalking, that is, fighting artifacts, talk to Bayard. He's got a lot of respect here. The only man on Skadovish who will give you a good price for your artifacts. He's got the connections to transport them outside the zone. Besides, he's a good man, you know, always there for you with advice for a suitable job. Um, where can I find artifacts? There's an old substation here, also called the Iron Forest. You'll understand why when you see it. Some people claim to have found clusters of artifacts in that area after an emission hit. It's not all that dangerous, mainly electric anomalies and a bit of radiation. There's also a few poltergeists that will bury you in all kind of crap if you don't hide in time. Uh, what's new in the zone? Have you heard about the Oasis, brother? They say there's this place that's extremely hard to find and, once you know where it is, it's even harder to get to. There's supposed to be a lake there. You walk into it and all your... Miladies fade all fade away. All your wounds heal instantly. Ah, uh, talking's no use. Have you seen how many rookie stalkers have come here? To the center of the zone? Some are looking for treasure trove of artifacts. Some are just curious, but most are hoping to find the oasis. Where it is, it's hidden somewhere around here. Alright, what you gotta trade? Uh nothing important. Alright. So uh, yeah, let's go to the, uh, boiler anomaly, which you're kind of supposed to go there first, honestly. Oh my god, there's a lot of lag spikes here. It's going nuts. I don't know if it's because it's loading in everything still or not. Right, we also have a, uh, shit, what, where do you, there we go, yeah, we also have this. Also, interesting thing. You know how you were always stuck with a pistol? Well, you can also equip a shotgun as your primary secondary. So, uh, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, jeez. Alright. First aid kits work differently now. They don't just, like, heal you instantly. They actually regenerate your health. Which is, I actually find better. Just relax and keep moving. Alright, alright, what's going on? That guy's gonna get fucked. He's gonna totally get fucked. Just, just come on. You're a terrible friend, what the hell? Man, these guys aren't gonna last very long, I'm just saying. Well, you got. Help me, stalker! You guys are fucking stupid. Stalker, quick, come help Petruska. Look over there at the edge of the crevice. He got whacked by an anomaly. Even his suit didn't help one bit. And me? I don't have one. Petruska and I pulled all our money together to buy that one. 
If I take another step, I'm done for. Help, please. Item received first aid. Okay, stay where you are. I'll give it a try. Alright, so you can actually kill these guys and you will uh, get an artifact, but we're not going to do that. Because we're not assholes. Tony Bouge. I'll take your gun though. Ah, damn. I'm hurt real bad. Help me, bud. I need a med kit. I ain't got long. Here, take it. And get the get the fuck out of there, jeez. And my armor's already fucked. Man, the man, military suck. They give me this shit. Oh, I didn't even read that. Bear detector. Thanks, so. though. He probably thanked me for something. Yeah, my bad. Um. <laughs> We got a detector though. This last generation anomalous activity detector can be used to locate anomalous formations and has a colored diode panel which can not only indicate the direction of artifacts but also measures the distance to them to switch to artifact search mode. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so there is an artifact nearby. Let's try not to fuck up and die. Oh, is that it? No. Oh my god, where is it? I'm totally gonna die here. Oh my god. Alright, we use the first aid. Oh jeez. It says it's behind... There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, where is it? I just saw it. I swear to god. I died. Alright, fuck's sake. Alright, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was a bad go. Uh, let me try again. I was like right there on it. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, those have steam. Is it up above me? Dude, this artifact sucks. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, that's great. There we go. I got it. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's steam. Fuck. Okay, that's steam. Go, 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 go. Alright, we're good. We, we got it this time. Fuck. Oh, God. My armor is all fucked up and shit now. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um, okay. Well, we're almost out of meds now. Okay, so we got an artifact. Let's see. Much. Oh, Mama's. Wow, we got Mama's Beads. If y'all remember in the first game, I think, or was it Clear Sky? Mama's Beads was like a really good item. Much about this artifact remains a complete mystery to scientists. At the same time, it is known for certain that the emissions produced by pulses in its thicker section for force blood and open wounds to clot quicker, forming a protective scab. One of the most noticeable effects of this artifact is the increased speed of wound healing. 
All right, that's uh, so it stops bleeding, but it gives one radiation. We're gonna need a artifact that uh, will protect us from radiation. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, I guess we'll now head over to Dredge Station. You bet your ass I will be exploring everything. Also, just ignore the enemies and save ammo. I don't have much use for grenades because I certainly don't use them. I'm going the wrong way. I don't use grenades. I never have. Enemies just like move out of the way and avoid them completely. Kind of fucking sucks to be honest. Um, but yeah. Also, it's been a long time since I like done videos. So believe it or not, I actually did all Sunny remake. And you know how it's like 31 videos of Sunny, the Sunny remake. Well, apparently I um I did all those 31 videos like ahead of time completely, just in like two or three days. I just played the whole game. Uh, then took a week break when we we're at the final area, and then played again. Um, so yeah, so it's honestly been a while because Sunny remake took about a month to you know upload. Alright, let's go over here. Now, I remember this place completely well. Um, so, the way you want to get the... This, there's a glowing artifact there. And, uh... Believe it or not... There's also another artifact here. But first, you're going to want to... You go over here, jump over that. Because there's an anomaly in the way. And you see that weird whirlpool right there? The f like the water moving like there's something in the water yeah you want to go there there's actually an artifact fuck and it's a very useful one too is it one I'll be using probably not no actually I will probably be using it now that I think about it we have to get that if you have a if you don't use a bear detector you won't be able to pick it up all right come on come on come over here There we go. We got it. Lots of radiation here. Alright. So, we got... Night Star. The Gliss Glowing Artifact can generate a local direct low gravity field. Widely used by stalkers along with gravity. Gravity is a similar artifact to increase maximum load. Emits radiation. Yeah, so this is uh, very useful. It helps you carry more. Uh, highly suggest you use this if you want. Anyways, um, hold on. Let me let me fix some things around here. Let me move some stuff around. There we go. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Um, if not, I can. Hold on. I'm gonna make some room. Okay, I am back. Okay, so now let's go take care of that thing. Let's go get that uh, artifact. There is a ladder we can climb up, climb up on. So uh, let's go do that right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. There isn't any anomalies in the way from there. Then you wanna duck under here, jump up here. Uh, and yeah, go jump up here, climb up the ladder, squeeze, crouch through here, then you're there, then keep going, climb up the, la uh, the, fl uh, the stairs, and bam, artifact. Strange ph phenomenon, ask stalkers about this artifact. Uh, let's see. This was, this was once the dredge station wheel. It has now have converted into a strange artifact. No properties are notable other than active glowing and low radioactivity. This has no like perks to where equipping this. Don't even equip it. It's meant to like sell or something. Uh, let's see. Jeez, I need a light switch now. Do I have any? No, it's okay. Let's keep going. So now you're gonna want a quick save here because there's a jackass around the corner. Uh, this guy. Tuna. Ah, oh, Jesus, I hurt myself. Fuck. Brother, listen. There's this artifact. It's got healing powers. 
I need it real bad. A buddy of mine's about to buy the farm from this weird sickness. Our medicine can't do crap. I try to give, 